Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I went to Ulta, I picked up five products and I decided why not make a haul out of this because I feel like five products is worthy of making a haul. Maybe not, I don't know. So before I get into the haul of the video, I wanted to give a huge shout out to JuliaJewelry.com. They are awesome. They went ahead and sent me this beautiful rose gold necklace that I love so much. It has my son's name on it, Hudson, and I got to customize it and make it to how I wanted, and it's got the font that I wanted. It's just such a beautiful, sentimental piece that I love so much. Julia was nice enough to send this to me, so I'm very grateful to them. I posted this picture on Instagram, so you can go ahead and check out their Instagram page. I tagged them on my Instagram picture that I posted, but I'll go ahead and post this in the description bar below also, so you can go check out their website. They've got a lot of beautiful jewelry pieces on there. I'm just really happy at how beautiful this necklace turned out, and I'm so excited to wear it more often. It's nice to have like a little piece of jewelry on me that has a little piece of my little son. So I love that. I also have this bracelet that, I mean, obviously is a cheap bracelet. It has a K on it for Courtney, which I love. I just love like the sentimental jewelry pieces, but definitely you should go and check out this website right here, the julia.com website. And they've got a lot of beautiful things on there. So yes. So if you guys want to see the makeup that I got from Ulta, then let's just jump right into it. Okay. So first things first, I was so flashback. I walked into Ulta, first thing I wanted to try was some foundation, and I was really intrigued by the Makeup Forever HD foundation, but turns out they don't have that at Ulta, so I didn't want to make a drive to Sephora because I had my child, so I decided to pick up something that was like a flashback to me that I haven't tried in maybe two years, I don't know, yeah, probably two years, I haven't tried it in a long time, and I just remember loving this in high school, and it's a foundation that I feel like I wore a lot when I first started YouTube, which was like three years ago. And I really loved this foundation and I raved about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it again. My face is doing a little bit better right now, but I wanted to try this out again. This is the Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse Airbrush Finish Foundation in the shade Sandy Beige 60. So I'm excited to try this out again. It's very affordable. I think it was $9.99, but I love the finish of this as far as I can remember. So we're gonna have to give this a go and I'll let you guys know what I think of it. Maybe I'll make like a whole Maybelline video because I've got a lot of Maybelline products. But yeah, I've got a lot of Maybelline products. Maybe I can make like a Maybelline video, we'll see. So the last drugstore side that I got was some Ardell Wispies that you guys should know by now are my all time favorite lashes. I'm not wearing them right now, I'm wearing some by Ilora right now. But these are my go-to everyday lashes that seriously, I would recommend to anybody. They're so beautiful. They are my favorite lashes ever. Definitely a good lash for an everyday wear, but they can also be really good for a night out on the town. When you're going all out and glam, these are some really good lashes as well. Okay, so the next product that I got, I was really excited to try. I don't have any Stila products, so I wanted to pick up this lipstick that I had been intrigued by online for the last little while. I feel like it was in my shopping cart for quite some time. This is the Stila Stay All Day Matificent Lipstick in the shade Atoli? I don't know. So it's like a pinky nude shade. I've got it on my lips right now. Um, If you know me, you also should know that I love nude lipsticks. So as soon as I got to Ulta today, I was like, I really want to just swatch this because I've never swatched a Stila lipstick. So I did so and I couldn't leave without it. It was $18. By the way, those Ardell Wispy lashes are $3.99. So they're a bargain. Um, but this was $18 right here. Told you it's like a pinky nude. Love this so far. Um, also, if you know me, you know that I have really dry lips, so I can't really wear matte lip shades unless they've got like a satin finish. I can't wear anything that's going to like dry my lips out because right now, like even right now, they're very crusty. I like this lipstick so far. It feels very comfortable on my lips. I know that I'm going to have to reapply it throughout the day, but that doesn't bother me too much just because I feel like I need more moisture in my lips throughout the day anyways. So I always have to like reapply anyways. If I wear something that's too matte and drying, 
I just hate that feeling of my lips being like, you know that feeling. So this is the Too Faced Born This Way setting powder. Um, it says on here, our silky lightweight powder sets makeup for longer wear while providing a veil of perfecting luminosity for a finish so natural they'll think you were born this way. So I've seen a lot of people on YouTube wearing this lately saying that it makes your pores look amazing. So I tested it out today underneath my eyes just to give a little bit of a bake. And I didn't set it over my entire face because I had already set my entire face, but I wanted to see if it would actually like brighten or do whatever it's supposed to do. Um, so I, so this comes in only one shade. I think it's just like a translucent shade that like goes well with every skin tone type of thing. Um, it doesn't really have like a color or anything. It kind of has like a tiny tint, but I like that you can kind of just open this up right here and then it comes out doesn't really have a scent to it, just kind of like the makeup scent. But I really love how beautiful the finish is underneath my eyes. And I really think that this is going to be my new go-to setting powder. Definitely brightened my under eyes. And in this little area right there, I feel like my pores just look gone. Like they look gone. It looks so beautiful. This was $32, I believe. I'll link everything down in the description box below. So I'm excited to try that out more. The last thing that I got from Ulta is this Morphe 9A Always Golden Eyeshadow Palette. I walked into Ulta today and I saw a whole bunch of Morphe palettes and I was like, what the heck? Even the Jaclyn Hill palette was in there. So I looked through all of them and I was like, you know what? I've got a lot of eyeshadow palettes that already have all these colors in it, but I really wanted just a basic neutral palette and I wanted one without too many shimmers in it. So I picked up this one. I already swatched one of the shadows as I was so excited about it. But right here, it just has like all the neutral shades that I typically wear on an everyday basis besides this top one and right here. Those two are shimmer. I'll go ahead and give you guys a swatch of all the shadows to show you guys what they look like. They're so beautiful and they're very pigmented. I'm just really excited to try this out. I love Morphe, especially the Jaclyn Hill palette. So this will be my second Morphe palette that I'm really excited to try out. So this is the end of my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.